Good morning, Miss Sonia here for another edition of Virtual Art from the Collier County Public Library. And today we're going to make stained glass windows. So here is my final sample of a stained glass window. It's really easy, lots of fun, uh, but it does take a little bit of time. So this is a project that you may want to do over a couple of days. So first of all, you just need a square of uh, cardboard. Um, we have these that come inside of our books here at the library. So I just took a couple of those out. Then you're going to take a piece of Reynolds wrap and cut it uh, a little bit bigger than your cardboard. And then you're just going to wrap it just like a present. So I'm going to fold it there and then you're going to tape the Reynolds wrap onto the back. There. Tape on this side. So basically you'll have four pieces of tape. And pull it pretty taut so that you have a smooth surface on the other side. you have a real smooth surface for painting. Then you're going to get a ruler and about the width of the ruler you're going to draw a square across with a marker, a permanent marker. Now you might ask why would I not just do the whole thing? In permanent marker. Well, when you make the little squares, if you did them all in marker, the markers would bleed upon uh, the other one. So your black is going to smear with your pretty colors and is it going to look good? So we have a trick for that. So see, I've drawn out four. Then I'm just going to guesstimate and individually draw little cells or little boxes all the way around. See how I've done that at the bottom? Don't have to be accurate, just close. And draw all the way around, just like that, okay? Then you're going to take some uh, acrylic paint in black or a dark color, any dark color, but black does the best and you're going to paint along your lines that you just drew with the marker, okay? Then this has to dry, usually takes about uh, two or three hours to dry, just a couple of hours to dry. And then you're gonna use bright uh, Sharpie markers, really bright colors. So don't use like uh, reds, don't use browns, don't use, um, blues, unless you use like a light blue. And you're just gonna color in every one of these little sails or every one of these little squares with your marker. So if you had done the outside with marker, it would smear with your pretty colors. So I'm just gonna color one just to show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And then you're just gonna alternate colors all the way around in a pattern formation. And then in the center, you can write whatever you want. Of course, like I said, I wrote my name and then I put a few little colors on my name just so my name would stand out. But you could put your favorite sports team, you could put your favorite book, anything you want. You can make these larger, you can make them uh, as big as an eight by 14 or eight and a half by 11, but this is just my little sample to show you. So lots of fun project. Again, it takes a little bit of time and a little bit of patience, but all ages can do this with a little help with parents. And uh, so I hope you enjoy doing this art project and we will see you again next week for another edition. Bye.